first disappointment that I felt when I picked up one of these Wipro devices was the fact that they only work with Google's Assistant or Amazon's Alexa natively. And there is a good reason for that. When you create and market a device that is compatible with Apple's HomeKit, you are in a way making that device as an extension to Apple's ecosystem. To be able to do just that, you need to be Apple HomeKit certified. The certification is called MFI and you can look it up on apple.com forward slash HomeKit. And that certification costs money, actually a lot of money, so much so that they have to hide it behind a non-disclosure agreement, which means that the information is not publicly available and well, the company who's trying to get their device certified will have to pay a lot of money for that. So when a company like Wipro wants to make a device that is natively supported by Apple HomeKit, they have to put in a lot of work to first make that happen, then pay the certification costs and then market and place that product appropriately so that the consumers in a country like India are able to use that uh, product as part of their Apple ecosystem. What ends up happening is that all those costs that go behind making this happen are actually advertently, in a way, transferred to the end consumer, like you and me. Because at the end of the day, we are the people who want to use that feature. Sucks to be us, right? This is also one of the primary reasons why Apple HomeKit enabled devices in India, they cost a lot of money. The cheapest device that also does not suck that you can purchase in India is Xiaomi's MI bedside lamp 2 that costs about rupees 3000 and provides a tight integration between the lamp and Apple's ecosystem so that you are able to control the device from within Apple's HomeKit environment. The other widely available option is Philips Hue Lighting, which is like rupees 11,000 for about four bulbs and a home bridge. Don't even let me get started on that. Because of reasons like this, angry consumers like you and me have found ways to make these devices, for example, the devices by Wipro, to make them work with at least Siri, if not part of the Apple ecosystem. With a little bit of magic here and a little bit of Siri shortcut there, you are able to do this. Siri, no lights. And there you go the lights are gone. Before we begin with the setup part of the video, I would like to let you know that there are much more complex ways out there to make these devices actually work with the home kit. And those methods will cost money, even though it's just one time money, but they do. And if you want me to make a video on that, just let me know in the comments down below and I will get the ball rolling. For this demo, I will be using two categories of Wipro devices. One from the smart lighting category, we will be using a Wipro smart bulb with about 16 million colors. And another one from the smart plug category, a Wipro smart plug. Duh. The fact that some of you are watching this video after already owning a Wipro smart device, chances are that you have already connected it with the Wipro smart home app. So you will have to unpair them. I know it sucks, but that's something that you have to do. So go on and unpair these devices. It is a very simple way to make almost all Wipro devices or your smart home devices that don't natively support Apple's HomeKit uh, work with Siri. And I say almost because I have not personally tried all of these devices, but I will be linking my blog post below where you can go and check out which devices I have personally tried before you can make an informed decision. Now, these are the things that you will need for making this setup work. So make sure that you have all of them checked. You will need a Wipro smart home device like a smart bulb or a smart baton or a smart plug or any other Wipro device out there or any other smart home device out there. You will also need the smart life app that you can download on Apple's app store and make sure that you have set it all up and signed in and created an account so that we are good to go. There is an optional requirement, which is an Apple HomePod or an Apple HomePod mini. If you want to be able to control these devices through your uh, smart speaker. And the last, not the least, and not at all optional thing that you will need is patience. Let's get started. Step one, reset your device and put it in pairing mode. The light on the bulb or on the switch of your smart plug will start rapidly blinking. For the bulb, put the bulb in a functioning bulb socket and uh, switch on, off, on, off, on the switch that controls your bulb socket. And the bulb will go into pairing mode. For the smart plug, put it into a socket and then press and hold uh, this button while the power is on for the socket and it will go into pairing mode. Step 2. Open the Smart Life app and add a new device and find the right category for your device and start pairing. For this little guy, the category should be a Smart Plug Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi support and for your bulb, the category should be Smart Light with Wi-Fi support. 
step three follow the on-screen instructions connect to your wi-fi or connect these devices to your wi-fi and just wait for the pairing to finish again if you have been using the wipro smart home app the pairing process is fairly simple because it's very similar to what you have on the wipro smart home app once you have these connected we can move on to the next step step four on the smart life app open the smart section and head over to tap to run step five click on the little plus icon on the top right corner of the app step six there are actually many functionalities that you can select in the tap to run automation section of the app but for this particular demo just select launch tap to run so that you are easily able to turn on or turn off your device when you give a command to siri step seven select run the device and select your device from the list that shows up on the app select the condition that you want to set in our case we will be making two of these automations one for turning on the device and another one for turning off the device step eight click next review your operation set and and save this automation step 9 you will now be taken to the list of all tap to run shortcuts on the smart life app with the option that says add to siri on the bottom right of the screen this option will expose a siri shortcut on your ios or your ipad os device this shortcut can be accessed and run on all your apple devices that have access to siri shortcuts and are on the latest version of your ios or ipad os Give your shortcut a name and make sure that this name is meaningful because this name will be used to invoke a Siri command which in turn will run the automation and switch on or switch off your devices or do something else, whatever you may please. Step 10. Head over to your Apple Home app on your iPhone or on your iPad or on your Mac and find the settings for your HomePod or your HomePod Mini and make sure that the personal requests are turned on. If you would like to purchase any of the devices that I have mentioned in this video and you also want to support this channel in turn, then you can find the links to these devices in the description down below and you can purchase them from Amazon. A very small percentage of your purchase will come back to me through affiliation and this percentage will help me keep this channel alive. And there it is. This is how simple it is to create automations that work with Siri even though your smart devices don't natively support Apple HomeKit. Of course, you can create more complex automations. And if you end up doing that, I will need to know in the comments down below so that we can interact and figure out how can we help each other out in the future to create even more sophisticated automations for the Apple ecosystem in future. For me, I have two great automations that I have set up on Siri shortcuts. One of them is entertainment time. When I tell Siri that it's entertainment time, it will turn on my TV, it will turn on my Apple TV, it will turn on my HomePods. Um, it will also set the lightings to a certain mood so that I am able to enjoy my entertainment time and all that stuff. And then gives a uh, feedback saying that everything is done and you're good to go for your entertainment needs. I have also set up another automation using the smart plug 16 ampere, which I use with my geyser slash water heater. So when I tell Siri that it's time to start heating water, it will do so, set a 15 minute countdown or a timer, and then also give me a voice feedback saying, Hey Sahil, your water heating has started in your maple washroom. It will be automatically turned off in 15 minutes. If you'd like to turn it off sooner, just ask me. For setting these up, select the timer in your tap to run automation while setting up the automation on the Smart Life app for the latter and club multiple shortcuts together, creating one big Siri shortcut out of it on the shortcuts app for the form. Apple is a costly affair, but in my opinion, it is totally worth it. And at times we may not want to spend much more money on smarter home devices that connect natively with the Apple ecosystem, uh, but then there are ways to cure the itch and this was one of them. If you found this video useful, make sure that you give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to this channel while turning on all notifications so that you get to know every time I post informative content on this channel. Also share this video with your automation happy friends. And if you ended up disliking this video for whatever reason, make sure that you share it with people that you hate so that it may ruin their day. Till the next time, this was Sahil Bawa and I hope you're safe.